This is Kristen from KiwiBox, and we're looking at Sam and Max. We have Emily here, and she's going to show us a little bit about the game. Okay. Um, this is Ice Station Santa. It's the first episode of Sam and Max Season 2. And uh, the kind of the plot behind this is Santa Claus is sending out presents that are attacking people, and Sam and Max are going to find out why. So we've got a return here from the soda poppers. They were uh, some characters from season one. Some people loved them, some people hated them. Um, Sam and Max aren't all that thrilled to see him. Time to blab with these guys. We're gonna go save Christmas. Yeah, not like that snobby, self-sufficient St. Patrick's Day. So the game is coming out in uh, November. It's coming out November 8th on GameTap and November 9th on TelltaleGames.com. And we were really, uh, we're kind of trying to set a new tradition as far as Christmas specials go. Um, I can't think of another game that's been only about saving Christmas. So we're hoping this will become like an annual. You'll want to play it every year with your family around the computer. And Sam and Max is like a long-running series, right? It is. This is actually the second season. We did, uh, season one had six episodes in it, and uh, those ran last November through May, and uh, we're kind of doing it again. It's, it's kind of like a TV season where, you know, we took the summer off to start working on the next season, and now it's coming back. Um, but even before that, Sam and Max has been around for 20 years. Um, it started as a comic uh, by Steve Purcell, and that the first comic was published in 1987, so this is the 20 year anniversary. And uh, he actually had, oops, he actually had um, a collection called Surf on the Highway that's been out of print for a very long time. And because of the renewed interest with Sam and Max with the web comic that he's doing and with the games, uh, we're, we're working with him to bring that back in print. And that's going to be back in print in November also. So we've got a lot of Sam and Max just kind of different from different angles. We've got the comic, we've got this. Uh, the box set DVD of the cartoon series is going to be out next year too. So there's a ton of Sam and Max stuff going on right now for Sam and Max fans. So as it turns out, Santa um, isn't going to listen to reason. We're not going to be able to get in just by going through the door. So Sam and Max are going to have to find a creative way to go in there and uh, wrestle the gun away from him. We've got some elves here. But something that's really nice about the Sam and Max games is just like the humor is so weird. And um, we've got a full-time writer, Chuck Jordan. He he was actually a contract writer for us last season and did a lot of the writing for um, Abe Lincoln Must Die, which is a really popular episode. And so I think people who liked that episode are going to be excited to know that he's now working for us full-time. He wrote this whole episode. He's mainly writing all of the season. So... Um, that's uh, just the humor is really a little bit edgier than it was last season. Just weird, weird stuff. <laughs> He's always been a little crazy. Think about it. The man gets And this will be released right in time for Christmas, right? Well, yep. Um, it comes out in November, so what we're hoping is that people will play it. They'll realize it's really funny, and then they'll go buy it for their family for Christmas. And uh, this, along with all the Sam and Max merchandise, is all available at TelltaleGames.com. And then uh, episode two is going to be coming out in January, and they'll be monthly after that. So once a month, you get your Sam and Max fix. And they're available on GameTap subscription service also, which is great because they have a ton of games. I think they have a thousand games on the service now. So. I did that, yeah. I think I did some for I think I did some reviews on one of your products. Just a lot of little things you can kind of poke on and uh, we've got some new animators working with us who really tried to cram it full of just funny things that are happening, you know. Um, I guess we'll go back outside. Well, yeah, it's kind of like a postage stamp of what he was, but it's interesting. 
interesting. I mean, I'm kind of having a, a, a nice, relaxing time. Yeah. I'm mostly working full time. One of the soda poppers, um, they're former child stars from the 70s, and one of them is Wizzer, and he has a uh, he has a, a medical issue. Um, so the yellow snow reclamation there is a is kind of an homage to him. So let's we can see what he thinks of the snowball here. I've done voiceovers. <laughs> you know, I've done everything: writing, editing, uh, design, voiceover work. I mean, not by trade, but I ended up doing it. I actually found out I could do it pretty well. That's a look at episode one. Um, 